Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about the student bios. Now if you take a look at the week two assignment sheet in Buzz, you're going to see that there are three different files in there for the bio. There is a how to write a student bio, a student bio assignment and graphic organizer, and then also some sample bios for you to look at. So let's go ahead and take a look at the how to write a student bio first and foremost. The point of us writing a bio is really so that way we can get into the practice of being able to talk about ourselves in a good way. You know, we want to talk about ourselves in a good way, especially when we're applying to college, applying to jobs, uh, just talking to random people that we've met. The first thing I say to someone isn't necessarily like, hi, I am Mr. Her and I'm really hungry and tired all the time. Like that's probably not the first thing I want to say to someone. But the point of the bio is so that way we could say some good things about ourselves in a very short way. Now, your bio is going to be used in English 10 class and we're going to grade it. However, you could also use your bio for, I don't know, other classes. Like if another teacher ever asks you for a short little summary about yourself, you could use your bio. If you are applying for a job, you could use your bio. If you're, I don't know, look like if a recruiter is talking to you, you could use your bio. So there are a lot of uses that you could get from this bio. Now, when it comes to actually writing your bio, one of the first things that you're going to want to do is establishing your background story. So give a little bit of background about yourself, like your name, your age, where you're from, where you grew up, things like that. Specifically, try to stick to what we say in here is like things in life that have impacted your life. So if you are super into like baseball and baseball has been your life since the day you were born, baseball might be one of the things that you talk about in here. However, if you're like Mr. Her, me, and you have never touched a baseball in your entire life, that's a lie, I have touched a baseball before. But if you're like really bad at baseball, I probably don't want to talk about baseball in my bio. That's a little bit weird. After that, you want to explain a little bit of your interests as well. And because this is a school bio, you want to stick mainly to school related things. So this might be some of your class interests like, oh my gosh, I just love English class. Or it might be some of your extracurricular activities and interests like, oh my gosh, I just love English club. Just kidding. We don't actually have an English club. Not yet anyways. Maybe you could start one. So you want to talk about some of your academic and extracurricular interests and some of the things that make you who you are, really. Like your bio should be pretty unique to who you are. And I should be able to read your bio and be like, yes, that is Joe Schmo right there. Now, for some of the requirements of your bio, this is getting into some of the nitty gritty of it. The tone of your bio is you always want to make it seem very professional. Like you don't want to have it be too informal where, you know, you're using text language. You definitely don't want to go that way. But also at the same time, you don't want to make it like, you don't want to use too many big words in your bio either. Like if you, if you make it sound like you just looked up every single word in a thesaurus, which I have definitely done before for some of my school essays, if I'm being completely honest. But if it sounds like you looked up every single word in a thesaurus, it's not going to sound like you. And we want it to sound like you. Next, with the format, you also want to make sure that you add a picture of yourself to, or like a picture or a quote that you think also kind of reflects your bio and your personality as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a picture of you. It can also be a picture of just anything for that matter. The biggest thing is that you're going to want this to be a length of 150 to 200 words. That is going to be a struggle for some people. I know as English teachers, we were really struggling with trying to get this into 150 and 200 words. And I'm sure there are some of you out there who are thinking to yourselves, 150 to 200 words, that's so easy. I have a hard time writing like 10 words. But let me tell you this, when you're trying to sell yourself to the world and you're trying to make yourself sound good, 150 to 200 words is not very much to do that. So this will be a challenge for some people. Lastly, just some final thoughts for you right here. So just try to highlight some of your skills and talents. Try to highlight the good things about yourself. Yes, we know that nobody is perfect, but the point of making a bio is to highlight some of those 
good things about yourself and to highlight that you have a lot of potential and a lot of area for growth that you are able to become you know a better smarter more well-rounded person if given some time and for those of you who might get a little bit stuck, there are also sample bios. So for example, we've got Mrs. Strabel's sample bio, so we can take a look at that really quick. And it'll load up right here. So there it is right there. Got Mrs. Strabel, MHS English teacher. Got a quote right there. Got a picture of Mrs. Strabel right there as well. At least I assume that's a picture of Mrs. Strabel. And here is a, an example of what a bio looks like. Now, Mrs. Strabel went above and beyond and wrote a bio both in the third person, meaning, look at this, like Mrs. Strabel talks about herself in the third person instead of saying me or I. However, she also wrote one that was in the first person. So this is where she just used like I and me to talk about herself. So you can choose if you wanna do yours in the first person or the third person. For your first bio, we recommend that you probably just write it in the first person and you write, say like, I did this, or this is about me. It's probably a little bit easier for your first bio. So that about does it with the bios. There are also other example bios in there as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to a teacher.